Welcome back to Booze on the Rocks. My name is David Edwards, and today we are going to use these to make this. But first, this. Before we get into the history of the rusty nail, this request comes to us from Keto JM on Reddit who requested this drink. He said that I don't think anybody knows about a rusty nail anymore. Okay, but so let's get into the history. The Rusty Nail first appeared in 1937 at the British Industries Fair. It was created by F. Benjamin, and of course it was called the BIF. Like, come on, how inventive is that? Okay, now it disappeared and then it came back in the 1950s and stayed popular for a couple of decades. There's a few stories about the, how the cocktail was named. One story is that it was named for the rusty nails in the crates of Drambuie that it was shipped in into New York City during Prohibition. Now these crates were shipped using the Hudson River, which is one of the reasons why you get all the, uh, the wet air would make the uh, nails rusty. Another story cites that the bartender who created this drink used to use a rusty nail to actually stir it. But Dale DeGroff notes that the rusty nail is credited to the bartenders of the 21st Club in Manhattan during the 1960s. Now this cocktail's name was finally contended the cocktail name was finally cemented in 1963 when Gina McKinnon, then the chairwoman of the Drambuie Liquor Company, gave the Rusty Nail her endorsement in the New York Times. But in film, the Rusty Name is the name of a character in the movie Joyride from 2001. This movie stars Paul Walker as Lewis Thomas, a college freshman embarking on a cross-country road trip during summer break to pick up his girlfriend Venna, played by Laura Lee Sobieski. Along the ride is Lewis's brother, Fuller, played by Steve Zahn, and who, as a practical joker, he uses the car's CB radio to play a cruel prank on a lonely trucker known only by the handle of Rusty Nail. Turns out the truck driver is a psychotic murderer who pursues them relentlessly to get revenge at any cost. Let's get into the Rusty Nail. First, I need my mixing glass. Okay. And we need two ounces of a blended scotch whiskey or 60 mils. Now for this one, we're going to use Monkey Shoulder, which is an awesome blended scotch whiskey. This is a space side whiskey and we need two ounces or 60 mils. We also need one ounce or 30 mils of Drambuie. Now Drambuie is a honey spice liqueur and it is very sweet. So one ounce, 30 mils. And of course, there's the optional dash of Angostura bitters. And because it's optional, we're going to do it. Now we're gonna use some ice and we're going to stir this. And stirring the ice will help bring it down to temperature. As well as help to uh, dilute it. Now you can feel the temperature change in your hand and you're looking at anywhere from 10 to 30 seconds depending on the dilution that you're looking for or also uh, the specific temperature that you're looking for. And we're going to put this into a rocks glass with some nice fancy ice. <laughs> we're gonna use a julep strainer. and I just spelled a whole bunch of my drink right down the front of it. That's abuse, alcohol abuse. I'm not happy about that. But let's see how it tastes, shall we? Well, you can definitely smell the scotch. With two ounces of scotch, you definitely get that scotch smell, a little bit of the ethanol, a little bit of the flavors. This is a space side, so it's not very uh, peaty at all. It's um, usually a little bit more caramelly, but I can't really smell the Drambuie, so let's give this a taste. That's not bad, not bad. Uh, I'm not gonna run home looking for this drink or run out looking for this drink. And I can see how if you have a couple of these, 
you're gonna get yourself kicked in the butt because you're gonna stand up and you're gonna fall over uh, with three ounces of booze each time, right? This is probably on my, my C list of drinks. No? Tell me what you think of this drink. Leave a comment below. Tell me if there's a variation of this drink that you like, right? And um, I'm going to put the uh, ingredients in the description below. If you're new here, please like and subscribe. And hit the bell to get the notifications every time we place uh, a new video up. But as always, if you don't like this video, you can hit the thumbs down button twice. And thank you for coming.